Y'all, we're finally gonna do it. We're gonna do some smash burgers on our wood fire grill using that griddle attachment. Stick around. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. Welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Guys, it's not the normal sunny Southern California you're dealing with. One, it's a little later in the evening and two, got a little bit of cloud cover going on. It's a little breezy. All right. So if you hear the wind chimes or little, little breeze going across the microphone, don't stress it. All right, guys, we got a good one. We're finally going to do some smash burgers on our wood fire grill. I know everybody loves a good smash burger. So, that's what we're gonna do, all right? We got the grill preheating already. I have it set up for 45 minutes because I gotta cook some bacon first on there. Then we're gonna do the smash burgers. I have it on the medium setting. So I wanted enough time in there. It's gonna get plenty hot. We're using that grill feature to get the griddle set up, right? But the medium heat will give us a little bit more leeway, a little bit more time without burning things. Make this smash burger your own. We're gonna start off with just some bacon and burgers and cheese, okay? I have some onion saute in the house that I'll throw on there for myself. But guys, the best smash burgers to me have bacon, cheese, and meat, and we're good to go. So you guys decide what you wanna do with your smash burgers, but I'm gonna give you the play-by-play, -play, the playbook on how to do it, okay? Basically, there wasn't a lot of prep to this one. I got the meat out of the the package and rolled it in the balls. Did about three ounce balls of meat, <laughs> meatballs, and we're gonna smash those up. Right, we're gonna use our Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. I'll throw a link down below for that if you want it. Not a whole lot to this one. We're not using any of the smoke, wood fire flavor. Once this thing is preheated, we're gonna lift that lid up and just start cooking. Uh, we'll toast up the buns too, but pretty, pretty simple. Cool. All right, nothing more to talk about. Let's go ahead and get going. Wood fire's going through the preheating. Once it's done, we'll start frying up that bacon, then we'll get our burgers on. All right, stick around. Let's get some bacon on. It's gonna do four strips so I can get this going. I'm gonna come back and cook the rest later. You know what? I'm gonna fit as much on and get this over with. <laughs> I'm cooking for the whole family tonight. This grill is great for sure, but it's also not very big. So the efficiency isn't as, for my family of uh, seven, <laughs> it's a little tough. And especially trying to shoot a video. We're gonna shove them all in. All right, bacon is all on. We'll come back and check on it in a couple minutes. Time to flip this bacon around. I went ahead and shut the lid just to help it start, uh, you know, getting done a little bit faster. I just uh, put out a TikTok on this too, or a reel or whatever you'll call it, a little short video. I get asked all the time if you should uh, use, you can use this wood fire in the house if you're uh if you're not using the smoke feature um i gotta tell you there is so much smoke coming out of the back when i had this bacon in there and the thing shut that to me it doesn't make any sense to use this inside the house so you guys can take that up on your own whatever you want to do but for me i'm going to keep this outdoor grill outdoors whether i'm using smoke or not I know it's not terribly clean in there, but that is the exhaust. It's wide open out there. So whatever you're cooking in here, especially something like with uh, baking grease or whatever, then, you know, you could actually, you know, start burning and smoking out the bacon, smoking out your house. So keep that in mind. All right, the bacon's almost done. We'll put it off and then we'll start smashing some burgers. Bacon's done, ready to come off. Let's get those burgers These on. Meatballs on. I left a little of the bacon grease on there, of course. <laughs> Gonna add some flavor with our Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. This stuff, I love this stuff on burgers. And we're gonna do my old fashioned smash burger way of doing things. We are going to use the spatula, the smash, 
and then the lucky shake to add the little force to it. We're gonna throw the parchment paper down and then smash it. Okay. Woo. That's going over there. <laughs> Get them nice and smashed. Luckily, this is very non stick. Get these nice and flattened. Whoa. Little sticky in there. It's all right. Sometimes you gotta adjust in the maneuver a little bit. There you go. These are by no means pretty, but they're gonna taste pretty. Let's get some buns on. Start toasting those. And you'll know these are ready to flip when you see the, the gray part kind of taking over the edges of the burger. So these are about ready to flip. A little flippy to do that. That one needs a little bit more time, but that is some beautiful color. Beautiful Maillard reaction. Buns nice and toasty. Put one more on there. Go ahead and flip this last one. Beautiful. And of course, you know we're gonna throw some American cheese on there. If you don't like American cheese, well, I don't wanna say you're wrong, but you could be more correct. <laughs> Y'all, this is coming together real fast, and that's okay. I'll flip these over. Get this first burger on. Yeah, that's hot. Throw a couple pieces of bacon on there. Get that bad boy crown. Yo, it's hot. Second burger on. Get that one on there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's all right. We can recover. <laughs> uh, see y'all, it's not always just perfect. It's not always rainbows and puppy dogs here. That is beautimous. Cap that bad boy. We get this thing cleaned up and we'll do a little picture taking. Y'all, we're done. Got me a big old burger right here, hot off that griddle. We got bacon, we got cheese, we got some beautiful Snake River Farms ground beef. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing left to do, but you know, do what we gotta do. Cheers, y'all. Y'all, that's a damn fine burger right there, if I don't say so myself. Mm. I don't know what's taking me so long to do smash burgers on there. I've had the griddle attachment forever, but we did it. I'm gonna do it. Hope you like it. Give it a shot. Dude, there's nothing better than a smash burger to me, in my opinion. Obviously, it's gotten a little bit darker. It almost started raining, like I saw some drops. We're in this weird season of Southern California where it's kind of cloudy, kind of not, kind of breezy, kind of hot, and then cold at some point. It's just weird out there. My mom and my wife say it's earthquake weather. So you heard it here first. We have the big one. It's because the weather is weird, of course. <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to get anything I used in my videos, the wood fire grill, the rubs, merch, knives, cutting boards, all that stuff. Links are all down below, okay? Hit them up. They're affiliate links. They don't cost you anything more to use, but they help out the channel. If you want to become a show producer like all of these awesome people scrolling in front of me, people that can't get enough of a good smash burger, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button. Which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.